In this video, I will show you how to cache your network image in your Flutter app. Firstly, you should know what are the benefits of caching network image. By caching network image, you will have performance improvement because caching reduces the need to reload images from the network repeatedly. Once an image is downloaded, it's stored locally, making subsequent access much faster. This also provides offline access to network image because the image is stored locally. Not only that, caching network image also reduces server load because it decreases the number of requests for the same image. This can highly improve the scalability and responsiveness of the server. Now let's dive into the code. In this video, I will be using this cache network image package which you can find in pub.dev. Next, go to installing and add the latest package dependency into your Flutter project. Now, in my main code file, I have prepared a network image URL stored in a constant string variable. In below, my scaffold widget body has a content widget and this content widget contains a column widget with some text widgets. Firstly, I will show you the regular way of adding network image in Flutter using image.network and provide the image path as parameter. So here I have to remove the constant keyword and assign specifically. So this is the regular way of adding network image in your Flutter app. Now I will show you how to add cache network image using this package. So instead of image.network, we have to use cache network image widget constructor provided by the package. Then pass the image path into the image URL parameter. This constructor provides some customization but there are two parameters I would suggest to add, which are placeholder and error widget. Placeholder is what will be returned when the image is loading. So I will return a circular progress indicator in the placeholder. While for error widget, it will return when the image failed to be loaded. Here I will just return a simple error icon. Now I have completed a regular and a cache way of adding a network image. Now let's check it out in the emulator. So as you can see, both ways works perfectly fine and the network image is loaded. So what are the differences then? Now let me disconnect my Wi-Fi connection. Then I hot restart the application. So as you can see, Cache network image is displayed, but regular network image is not displayed because I just disconnected my network connection. Cache network image can still be accessible while offline because the image is downloaded and stored locally while the regular way requires to recall the server for the image and since there is no internet connection, regular network image is not fetched and displayed. In conclusion, this is how and why you should cache your network image rather than displaying using the regular way. If you have any question, feel free to comment below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next tutorial.